uh, Humane Society, each year about three to four million cats wind up in shelters across the country. They're abandoned by their owners or whatever reason. Experts say a great way to lower these numbers is for us to find kitties that match our personalities. We actually go out and shop for the right cat for our personality. Today we're going to show you just how to do that. Watch. When looking to adopt a cat, some search out felines with a frisky attitude, or a colorful coat, or one that's just so cute. But how do prospective owners know which cat is going to have the right personality? Amongst felines, there's plenty of variety in attitudes. Take, for example, famous cats. You could get one that enjoys eating mice, or one that loves chasing down birds. There are some who tend to be lazy and also love lasagna. And there's also those cats that love to sing and dance once in a while. But since your run-of-the-mill shelter cats are unlikely to belt out a Broadway tune, how can you tell which kind of cat is going to be best for you? Well, here to answer that question is the editor of Cat Nymph Magazine and the author of the Cat Behavior Answer Book, Arden Moore. Good to have you here. Oh, thank you, Juliet. So you can actually go out and shop for the right cat for your personality. Yeah. Cat, cat personality. Oh, personality plus. Right, audience? Come on. Let's see. Woo! Yes. Okay, so who do we have here? This is Savannah. Oh, well, what we want to first tell people is we have a tendency to shop by looks, right? right. Well, you're going to have this cat longer than the life of your car, maybe two cars, maybe your relationship, maybe your job. You're shopping for 15 <laughs> years to shop with a purpose. So there is, a, there is a, another tool you can use when you're looking for mutt cats, especially, and shopping to have a personality that matches your personality. Without looking at the face. Yeah, it's, a, it's called cat face geometry. Okay. And it was coined by uh, Kit Jenkins. She is an animal behaviorist. Okay. She went in all these different behaviors. But for this one, Savannah, they come in three geometry shapes. This is my favorite math. It's cat math. It's triangle, round, and square. Is Savannah a triangle? Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, how, do we, how are we doing that? From this is the top, the point? Yeah, see how the face is a triangle? Okay, and what and, does that tell? What, and what with kind of triangle cats in general, not always, they tend to be very active. Mm -hmm. They are like running for political office. This is the <laughs> new president of America, Savannah. Um, they like to do things. They're hanging out, you know. This is very good for a household that's very active, busy, noisy. They're, they Bring it on. Okay, and let's just go to the other side of the table here. Who oh, here? look at that little love muffin. That is Charisse. Charisse oh. is what they call a round face cat. Round face cats tend to say, shh, this is a library. They're very quiet. They like laps. They do well with people that have quiet households, maybe like a senior citizen that that's just wants a cat that will pull, purr full throttle in their lap. Okay, so that's a round face. Are we getting this? Are you able you to see the round face? You guys doing the math? Face? Okay. Okay, and, and this one here? is sort of a square face. We're doing our best. Uh, this is Meeps, and Meeps, um, they are very mellow. Meeps, square, fa square face cats tend to be like they smoked a joint, you know? Whoa, sister! <laughs> they kind of, they're kind of mellow. They're like, oh, if something big noise happened, that's okay. They do very well in active households. They travel well. They're just like very uh, adaptable. Now, is this a Siamese cat we have over here? Oh, yeah. This Ooh, is Corky. Now, there are more than 40 uh, cat breeds. We also brought a couple of purebred cats, two of the more popular ones. And Corky here is a Siamese. They're the ones that are looking, they're the human equivalent of can I have unlimited minutes on my cell phone, please? They like to talk, 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 talk. They're very chatty. They bond with a person. Um, they love to do, show off and do tricks. Are there uh, specific cats that are more like lap cats? They're really nuzzly. Yeah, Persians, the round cats, and the cat we're going to have here. Um, that looks like my old cat. Lassie. This is um, Daddy-O. Daddy-O is a Maine Coon that came from the streets. Huge. Typically, Maine Coons have big bodies, and they um, put the M in mellow. But this poor man came from the streets. He's just kind of like, I'm a little nervous about the TV. But they can be great in households. There's like, you know, they're like 20 pounds. They can learn tricks. They're, they're just amazing cats. And by the way, all of these cats are up for adoption through bytheweed.org. So if anybody in our audience here or you there, if you're interested in adopting them, log on to our website, mjshow.com. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you very much, uh, kitty cats. All right. By the way, we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere.